Yo guys, what's up? This video is about uh, programming frequency sets to the ProGen 3 from Resonant Light and also about my awesome homemade LED device. Peace. I should tell you that there may be flashing lights in this video, so towards the end. So do be careful if you're averse to the odd flashing light or two. I'm just trying to show you how bright these LEDs are. <laughs> in a bizzle greetings YouTube it's Sunday and I wanted to do a video about creating a custom frequency set on one of these ProGen 3 machines using their ProGen Connect software so you open it click file new PG3 file uh, and this is where you can start entering in information I'm just using uh, frequency sets that I found on the internet uh, we'll give it a name, it's esophageal and label and then we give it an ID so that when it's loaded into the machine it uses a particular set number so let's go 7994 call it revision 1 now this is where we start entering the frequencies so I've got a list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 frequencies which I'm going to enter which will first be as single frequencies. Okay, so the first frequency is 50 hertz. Uh, then we want to change that, so we're going to run it for two minutes. This software does have, have this weird problem where sometimes you just have to click the button really quickly. So anyway, that's two minutes. Pulsing is on, pulse rate one, single frequency. Okay, so now we have to do is hit enter and it gets pretty easy from here. So enter and then we just quickly enter the frequencies and the software does the rest so that is the first part done now what I want to do is run the same frequencies but use a spread expand. Uh, so what we have to do here, we go over to single frequency and we change it to spread expanding. 20 seconds, let's try that on each frequency. A submit change. There you go, 6 minutes 20. We'll stick with that. So now we add in the other frequencies again, 520, 600, 930, 126900, 1250000, 24030, 3010000, there. And now all we need to do is go file, save, give it a file name, save, and then also we can save as a PDF file, so we'll save that as a PDF file, and then we can go to desktop, I don't know how, not that one, this one, so you can see now we've got a complete PDF file with all the details on there which I could put in my uh, folder. So that's that. Now I'm going to get the machine and transfer the frequency over. Now we go Progen, load single, Choose file, choose the file from the desktop, uh, give it the set number, 7994, commence loading. And there it's done, that was just the machine beeping, so that is now in there and ready to run. Sweet! So now to run that set that we programmed in, we just hit 
run frequency set 7994. And that's it. That's both on full brightness. You see the first frequency is 50 hertz, which we can basically discern because it's slower than our eyes. But once you go past that, once you go past 60, you can't really see what's going on. So one benefit of this frequency control is we can skip through the steps. So that's 520, single, 600 single, 930 single, 12690 single. Hundred twenty five thousand single two six oh seven one oh single four three four oh three oh single three oh one triple oh single eight hundred and twelve thousand two hundred single and then this frequency I'd like to tab on at the end because I read something James Bear had written about it. Uh, somebody did a lot of work on on, uh, I believe, you know, this company or their uh, related patents. Anyway, he seems like a knowledgeable guy. All right, so now we're up to level 11, and then when we go to level 12, so I'm just gonna move the camera a second. When we go to level 12, which we can see on our table here, it's gonna start at 50, but it's gonna change frequency up and down slightly using the uh, spread expand function, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. So I click next, and now we're on level 12. And what it's doing is you can see here the time for each frequency. So it's going to start at 50 because that's the base frequency. That's what it's supposed to do. And it should change now. There you go. So what it's doing, it's going to go to 49, then 51, then 48, then 52. So that level 12 is actually, let's just hit, actually the, this uh, level is going to take in total 6 minutes 20. It's just showing the time for each frequency. Level 13, again, we're going to get the same thing. If you hold on till this 15 seconds is up, then you, we will see what that changes to. The LEDs are still bleeping away. So there, that's going to go 519, 521, etc, etc. And it's going to do that for all the rest of the frequencies, just to give them... That's level 14, 600, 930, 12,690, 125,000, 260,710, 434,030, 301,000, 812,200, and then there we go to the 10,026. And you can see that will be on the spread expanding for six minutes. So, I do love this LED. If I keep going on about it, okay, it's because it's a big deal. Yeah, considering I only made it for two pounds and the light that comes out of it, I'm not saying it's as good or can be used in the same way as a plasma bulb, but if, you're, if you want to do something on an area of your body, and it can be literally any area, including your neck and your chest, where you can't use traditional pads, so if you see me going on about this constantly, please remember it is a very big deal and that you shouldn't moan about it. And if you have one of these machines, you should consider making like some, something like this for yourself. If you feel you, you couldn't do it, then m maybe one day I'll make a video just running through exactly how I made it, because it is quite simple. You've just obviously got to have the confidence to do these things. While we're on, I'll just show you uh, 17 hertz, which is very weird. <clears throat> I suppose you don't really get the full effect. Let's turn, turn it down a bit. But there you go, that is Gav's big deal frequency $2 LED device, which is totally awesome.